When you have lived too many lives, the stories start to blur together. The smiles, the laughter, the friends you've made, the pain, the betrayal, the people you've left behind, the rulers you've seen come to power, the governments you helped destroy, the villages you built from the ground up, now flourishing cities, were gone in history. The laughter of a new friend, eerily reminiscent of someone you don't remember. The ghosts of memories everywhere you turn. I still remember the sound of their laughter every time I see a daisy. Flashing memories of smiles and warmth and love. That one afternoon we sat in the field, surrounded by flowers, on that destroyed blanket one of us brought. We were naming all the flowers, what they meant, pointing out our favorites, bright colors in the field, and the color red in our cheeks from smiling so much. Or maybe it had been the sun. And then, someone pointed out the single daisy, sitting near the root of the tree. No one had picked it as their favorite, but seeing it sitting there, I picked it from the ground and pressed it between the pages of my book. I still have the daisy, even after all these years, places, stories, and I remember the feeling of summer every time I see a daisy. And there's other good things too, when you've lived too many lives. The defenses you've built over centuries are now unbreakable. Your previous betrayal and hurt saved you now, as you trust you. The moments once so fresh and painful, now barely a whisper in your mind. But the good moments fade too. Memories of laughter, friends, family, feelings of happiness, hope, of home. Still in your memories, but faint. Faded through the ages, because when you've lived too many lives, the stories start to blur together. And then, every once in a while, something random will remind you. Maybe you remember everything, every excruciating second of their betrayal. The loss, the pain. Or maybe you just feel the emotions. Whispers of events, ghosts of memories. Sometimes I'll see a snowflake falling and feel foreign emotions of betrayal and sadness. I'll feel my limbs freezing despite layers of clothes. Feel abandoned, alone, while surrounded by friends. Sometimes, sometimes I'll see a spark of an ember. Fires in fireplaces, bonfires with friends. The hearth keeping me warm at night, and I'll feel anger, or I'll see flashes of homes burning, cities crumbling, forests destroyed. And I won't even remember what I've lost, who, when, where, all gone. But the emotions, they stick longer, even when I don't have anything in my memories to associate them with. Because that's the problem when you've lived too many lives. The stories, emotions, everything starts to blur together. <laughs>